cook. Welcome to our cafe. everyone. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Ho -ho. Hello everyone. I wonder what our postman's brought us today. Well, Small, there's a parcel for me. Isn't that exciting? Ooh. And there's a postcard for me. And there's a letter for me. Ho -ho. Nothing for you though, I'm afraid, Small. Oh, well, never mind. I wonder what's in your parcel though, Ben. Well, <laughs> let's have a look. Oh, this is exciting. <laughs> oh, it's a box. Oh, oh, small, look. It's a mug with my name on it. Oh. <laughs> it's not your birthday, is it, Ben? Oh, no, no. It's just a little not-birthday surprise from my Auntie Pam. Oh, oh, isn't that nice? I never get not-birthday surprises in the post. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, where's the postcard? Oh, and my Uncle Brian's gone to the seaside again. He says, weather great, been swimming every day, wish you were here, from Uncle Brian. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I wish I got a postcard. I never get postcards or surprises. In fact, apart from Christmas and birthdays, I never get any post at all. Well, do you write letters to other people, Small? Well, not really. Well, sometimes you have to send letters to get letters back. If you write and tell people your news, they'll usually write back with theirs. Oh! I never thought about it like that before. <laughs> oh, yes. I love writing cards, letters, emails, and it's even better to get a letter back. <laughs> oh, sounds like we've got a customer, Small. I'll have to read this later. Why don't you go and see who it is? I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> So who's our customer today then, Small? Well, we've actually got two customers today, Ben. Come on then, give us a clue. Who are the two? There's a boy and a girl, and they're carrying a bucket. <laughs> oh, are they window cleaners? <laughs> oh no, Ben, they're from a nursery rhyme. And in the nursery rhyme, their bucket is called a pail, and they have to fetch a pail of water. Oh, I know. It's Jack and Jill. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out on a country walk when who should I meet but Jack and Jill? What's up? I asked. Every day we have to climb this hill to fetch a pail of water from the well, explained Jack. Yes, and it's very slippery, moaned Jill. And we fall over a lot and slide down to the bottom and have to climb the hill all over again. It's not just us. All our friends have to fetch water from the well and they all fall down too. Then I had an idea and asked Jack and Jill to bring all their friends with their buckets to meet me at the bottom of the hill the next morning. I said to the children, I'm going to show you how to make a human chain. I showed them how to get into a long line from the bottom of the hill to the top. Then I got them to pass the empty bucket up the hill one by one. Jack and Jill were by the well at the top. As the buckets arrived, they filled them with water and then the children passed the full buckets carefully down to the bottom of the hill. They soon filled all the buckets and the children came down to join me. If you fill the buckets this way, I told them, Nobody has to climb the hill more than once. Jack and Jill and all their friends were so happy. They all had full buckets and they weren't at all tired. 
So now they could all go and play. Hooray! Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown and Jill came tumbling after. <laughs> oh, what a clever idea, Little Cook. That hill looks so hard to climb. No wonder Jack and Jill and all their friends were so happy you came to help. Well, now we can make them even happier. Let's cook them something delicious. But how can we think of what to cook for them? Hmm. Ooh! <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book, in the book, in Big Cook's book. Oh, yes, here we go. Citrus punch, a lovely fruity drink. And in this picture, it's served in a bucket. Just the job for Jack and Jill. Let's get to work, Ben. OK, then, little cook, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need lemons. OK, in the fruit bowl, lemons. Got those small. Limes. Here we go. Green limes, yep. Oranges. Oh, very fruity. Got the oranges small. Spring water. Here we go. Spring water, yep. Ice cubes. Oh, that's in the freezer. Ice cubes. <laughs> Lovely cold ice cubes. <laughs> and honey. Oh, honey. In the cupboard. There we go. Got that too. And here we are. Everything we need for the recipe. Small, what's so special about spring water? I don't know. And I've always wondered why it's actually called spring water. Funny name, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I'll tell you what, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready. Hey, that's a great idea. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Way! <laughs> Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. This looks like the right place. When the rain falls from the clouds onto the ground, the earth soaks up the water. The water has nowhere else to go, so it bubbles up and out of the ground. This is called a spring, and the water is called spring water. The spring water is collected here and put into bottles. Lots and lots of bottles. First, the bottles have to be washed. Now the bottles are filled up with the lovely pure spring water. Fill them up to the top. Bottles of spring water. But what's missing? Hey, the bottle tops. On they go! All packed and ready to go to the shops. Phew! It's thirsty work playing in the garden, so these girls need a drink of water. Delicious! That was really interesting! Bye! <laughs> There wasn't much to prepare for this citrus punch recipe, so, while Small's been away, I've made him this little card. It didn't seem right that I got all the post and cards this morning, so now when he gets back, he'll get some surprise mail too. I'm <laughs> back! <laughs> but it's a secret, remember? Shh! I found out everything you need to know about spring water, Ben. Rain falls onto the ground and is soaked up by the earth. Then the water has nowhere to go. So it finds its way back up to the surface, and that's called spring water. Oh, right. Now I see. Spring water. Oh, come on then, Small. We better get started. But you haven't opened your letter yet, Ben. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. I almost forgot. I've been a bit busy. <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, it's a postcard. It says, thinking of you, from my friend Patricia. We were at school together, and now she lives in Australia. Oh, isn't that nice? We often write to each other. You write to so many different people, don't you, Ben? 
Oh, well, as I say, I love to write letters to people telling them all my news. Ho, ho, ho. I've decided I'm going to write to someone, but it's a secret. Whoosh. Come on, then, Small, we better get going. We've got two very thirsty customers in the cafe. You're right, Ben. Let's get going. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruit smiles And envelope surprise We love our cafe and we love to cook We have a fantastic recipe book He is big cook and he is small Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all When your tummy gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat you can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to citrus punch? You do. There were lemons. Three, two and a half, one in slices. Limes. Two, one in half, one in slices. Oranges. Two, one in half, one in slices. Spring water. 600 millilitres. Ice cubes. Two handfuls. And honey. Four teaspoons. Whoopee! Let's get started! While Small was away, I cut two lemons, one lime and one orange in half. Like this. That's definitely a job for your grown-up helper, because the knife will need to be sharp. Then we can squeeze the juice out using a juice squeezer. Like this. Oh, nice and tight. And then the lime. Give it a good old squeeze to get all the juice out. There we are. And then the orange. Oh, there's a lot here. Oh, yes. There we go. And then we can pour the juice into a nice clean bucket. A bit like Jack and Jill's pail. Ben, do you need me for a while? It's just that I've got something very important to do. <laughs> oh, no, Small. This recipe's nice and simple. So, I'm OK on my own. Off you go. Won't be long. <laughs> What's he up to, I wonder? <laughs> anyway, I was saying about this bucket. Now, this bucket is brand new and I've washed it out. So if you're going to use a bucket, make sure it's really clean. If you haven't got a bucket, a jug would do fine. So now I've juiced all the fruit into the bucket and I'm going to add the honey. So I'll pour some in. Like that. And then give it a good old stir. Hee <laughs> hee! You know I said I was going to write to someone. I'm making a card for them. My best friend. Look, I've drawn a picture of us. There's me. And there's him. Hoo hoo! Can you guess who it is? He's going to be so surprised. Shh! I'll just go and hide it. <laughs> I've cut the lemon, lime and oranges into slices like this and now it's time to put everything together. So, in goes the ice with the fruit juice. Then we can pour in the spring water. There we are. And give everything a good stir around. Hello, Ben. Can I do anything? Oh, yes, thank you, Small. I'm going to give you a slice of lemon, lime and orange. And I'd like you to make a cut in each of the fruit from the middle to the edge. There you go. OK, Ben. Pop some of the fruit slices into the bucket to add a little more flavour. There we go. And then, using a ladle, we can pour the citrus punch 
into the glasses. The slices are ready now, Ben. What are they for? Oh, thanks, Small. You'll soon see. These are for the decoration. We pop the fruit slices around the edge of the glasses like this to make the glasses look a bit more jazzy. What a fantastic drink! If you are wondering what citrus means, it's a word used for all the fruits we've used. Lemons, limes and oranges. <laughs> and here's the finishing touch. Some coloured straws for the glasses. There we go. All finished. The perfect recipe for Jack and Jill. Here we go then. Citrus punch coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes, Small! It looks like Jack and Jill enjoyed their citrus punch. Look, they've left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you so much for the citrus punch. We really loved it. Woohoo! And Small, your brilliant way of fetching the pails of water is working really well. So we're sending you a little surprise to say thank you from Jack and Jill. Oh! There you are, Small. Thanks, Ben. Wow! Surprise post for me! <laughs> Let's have a look. Hey, it's a thank you card from Jack and Jill and all their friends. <laughs> oh, and there's one more letter for you as well, Small. There you go. Thanks, Ben. Wow! I've never had so much post. Huh? Just a little surprise to my best friend, Small, from Ben. Oh! Well, you're not going to believe this, Ben, but I've got a card for you too. <laughs> Here we go. Ha-ha! <laughs> Thank you, Small. Oh, I love my card. And I like mine too. I'm going to write lots of cards and letters from now on. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. Welcome to our cafe. 